It's William here again, and I'm back with another tutorial for Logic Bots. In the last tutorial, we um, I showed you how to complete the level five platform, and for this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to complete uh, level six corridor. Um, I hope you have learned and practiced how to to use the laser rangefinder and to make the the bot turn um, when when you want it. So for this one, we might just as well use the same same um, frame as for the last last level. And um, yeah, as usual, we're gonna add the snap lines. So we can snap on the wheels there. This is the right side, and we want it to go clockwise. So left side and clockwise. If you have any questions from the previous tutorials, just feel free to post them in the, the comments field and I try to answer best I can. Um, the principle is very similar to what we have done before. Um, in, in, for this map we have the option to use um, ultrasonic rangers or laser rangers. It's either way you can, fin you can, you can make it with both. I'm just going to use laser rangers. Yep. I think I need to remove the snap lines. Alright, that's fairly symmetrical. Um, and I want two number monitors so I can see how far it is to the walls. And as usual we're gonna rename the the uh, laser rangers and all the parts. So know which one is the right and which one is the left side. All right, that's it for building. Let's go to the circuit board. Um, I'm going to place the laser rangers on each side of of the the uh, circuit board and the number monitor. So below and um, above. So the left laser ranger uh, for the left motor and the right laser ranger for the right motor. Uh, building this um, circuit is pretty similar to what we have done already. Uh, I see I just need to focus a second on placing the parts. If you haven't seen my previous tutorials and you don't know how to create a control circuit like this, uh, you might want to check out the tutorial for level 2 where I explain exactly how I do it in more detail. And uh, this is basically still the same, same control circuit that is in the tutorial as far as these parts go. Alright, um, what we want for this map, since the, the body is supposed to navigate a narrow corridor, you will need to measure the distance to the walls and uh, if, it, if the bot comes too close to the left wall it has to turn right 
and if the bot comes too close to the right wall it have to turn left and if you adjust the um, the static values I'm going to show you soon um, if you adjust them very well it's going to stay approximately in the middle of the corridor all the way So we're gonna start off with the, um, the circuit for turning. I'm gonna need two more signal splitters so we can um, connect the number monitors. This circuit will make the the bot turn right uh, when the distance from the wall is less than a preset value. Um, the circuit itself is not meaning meaningful until we have uh, made the uh, the part of the circuit that makes the bot go straight ahead. So we're gonna do it right away. I'm just gonna connect these last wires. Okay, so now we need two greater than uh, comparison gates. And we need uh, two static value generators. I'm just going to type in something here. We'll have to um, measure the distance to the walls uh, once. Um, we can actually do this right away. See if if I just I have I have connected the laser range finders, and uh, right now it's measuring a distance of approximately 1.8, 1.7, somewhere in between meters to the walls in front of it. So if we want the um, the the bot to stay somewhere approximately in the middle of the the um, the maze or the corridor. I guess we can put it maybe on one meter and see what happens. And then we'll connect this. And we need to connect the laser rangers, range finders to the mill circuit. Okay, so as long as the distance from the wall is uh, greater than one meter, um, the uh, the bot will continue to go straight ahead, and uh, this AND gate forces both of uh, the range finders to be within one meter because if any of the the um, the sides of the robot comes too close to a wall, it will stop and instead this, these outer circuits will kick in. I'm just going to demonstrate it. You can see that the, the bot will turn when the distance to the, to the wall is below the threshold. Yeah, those things happen from time to time. Um, I can experiment with different thresholds to make it. Maybe, uh, maybe you don't want to go to be exactly in the middle. You might want it to be allowed to travel or drift around a bit. Because sometimes it's the randomness that helps you to complete the map. Um, I hope you learned something from this tutorial and um, as usual feel free to ask questions. 
I will be posting the next tutorial for the wide corridor in a few days. That map is actually a bit trickier because it I haven't really found a way to finish it without relying on a certain amount of randomness. But that's for the next time, so bye for now.